flashback to Boxing Day 2021, Kevin Van Veen nets a double against Livingston to put the Steel Men five points behind third place Hearts, heading into the winter break. At that point, it would be hard to think that at the start of the new season, Motherwell would be searching for a new manager. However, here we are on the eve of the Steel Men's first home match in the new season against St Johnston, and the club are searching for the successor to Graham Alexander's position. It can be no surprise given that since Van Veen's boxing day brace, the club picked up only three league wins before Graham Alexander was sacked. So, who will take over here at Fur Park? Let's go through the potential contenders for the job. So, the contenders, we're better to start than the man currently in the caretaker role. That's right, Stevie Hamill, director of the Youth Academy here at Fur Park. During his playing career as well, he racked up just under 400 appearances for the club, 397. So he is someone who certainly knows the club, but I know the back of my left hand. The only question marks over that appointment would be whether it's came too soon for Hamming. He's been in that job uh, at the Youth Academy for three years now, so is he ready to make that step up to permanent management? I tell you what though, he certainly did himself no harm last week in Paisley, securing three points just two days after Graham Alexander's departure. If you were to push me though and ask me, for me, it's just too soon at the moment. On to a slightly more ambitious one now, and this man. Over Watson, but Ferguson's there! And a refuse strike is in the country to match him from six yards with a header. Yep, that's right, big Dunk, Duncan Ferguson. He's looking for his first permanent role in management. But for me, the difference between him and Stevie Hamill is you look at the kind of a managers that Duncan Ferguson has worked under, the likes of Carlo Ancelotti, Rafa Benitez and Frank Lampard. And he's also had caretaker roles in Goodison. Uh, and in those spells, he managed to get a 3-1 victory over Chelsea. And he managed to get a 1-1 draw at Old Trafford as well. So... People may say that it's an ambitious appointment, but you look at a couple of factors for me. I don't think money will be a factor because he's got plenty of it. As I say, he's looking for his first permanent job. He's Scottish, so what better place to start than in the Scottish Premiership? And I think Motherwell is an ideal club. We've shown it with players in the past, and we've let managers do it. But if you come here and you do well, we'll allow you to go on to the next step of your career, and we'll let you leave when you feel the time is ready. So. Big dunk in as a manager for me is something that would certainly excite me and there's a certain hero of mine that could be his assistant. Thanks to the staff here at the Will Show, came here and the shutters were done but thankfully they've been open for this uh, and now you can see these two beautiful kits that we've got this year. The home one is a throwback to the 1982 season which was a season that we get relegated believe it or not so I hope that that's not an omen uh, for this season, certainly though. Two of my favourite kits and my team support model. I think that's something that we do really well here. We always produce really nice kits. Uh, so you can let me know in the comments what's your favourite, the home one or the away one. Personally, I'm going to go with the away one because I like the fact that the sponsor is just underneath the badge and it doesn't take up too much of the shirt. So it's quite a plain shirt with the, with the vertical claret and amber lines. I really, really like it. I think it's the best away kit that we've had in years and hopefully the, the performances on the pitch can be just as good as the kits. My instant reaction to this one is please no. Delighted for the players. They probably come into this game, you know. Yep, Tommy Wright, someone who's going to be linked with every job going in Scotland this year. And it's no different when the Motherwell job comes up. People in the media are throwing his name about. He did win the Scottish Cup with St Johnson in 2014. But for me, his next job in management with Kilmarnock left a lot to be desired. They got the exercise relegated. And the football that he played wasn't very expansive. It wasn't very good to watch. It was very much in the mould of a Graham Alexander. So for me, Tommy Wright would be a sideways appointment and someone that I wouldn't go for. The next one is another young manager trying to make his way in the game. Yep, that seems to be a theme of this video, doesn't it? Young managers trying to make their way in the game, and this one's no different. Kevin Thompson, 
He managed at Kelly Hearts last season and they won League 2 with a 60% win ratio. And many people, myself included, were surprised when he left Kelly in the summer. But for me, that does show ambition to manage at a higher level. But again, we asked the same question of him as we do with Stevie Hamill. Is he ready for that step up? The difference between him and Stevie Hamill is he's already managed at a club, but he doesn't know the club as well as Stevie Hamill. So, is it one that we're going to go for? I don't know. I don't think it's a motherwell style appointment. I think if we're going to appoint Kevin Thompson, we're much more likely to give the job to Stevie Hamill as he's been here for years. So, no for me. You might wonder why I'm here, because this evidently isn't the fun part. Here you see the graffiti of NEC and MFC. This was a partnership that was started with Michael Higdon signed for NEC, Nymagan and Holland. I might have put some different pronunciation there. Sorry if I have, you can let me know in the comments. But essentially, when Higdon moved there, the Well Boys went over to Nymagan to watch him play and formed a friendship with the Ultras over there. And sometimes they come over here, sometimes we go over there. So we're really good to go there one day and see what their disabled facilities are like. We've had Dutch players play here in the past that look Nigel, which kind of a, brings me on to my fifth candidate. Now, Luke Nigel is not something that's been mentioned in the Motherwell job and he's not something that I'm throwing forward. But Motherwell have made appointments like that in the past where people haven't been mentioned and we just throw in somebody completely in the blue. Like, Craig Brown was at a job for years, I think his last job was Preston. Uh, before he went and signed for Motherwell and took over that team after Jim Gannon left, who again wasn't mentioned for the job, and then continued to do it with the likes of Ian Barraclough moving forward. So, will Motherwell do that? You could even say Graham Alexander, he was in any way mentioned towards the start. So, will we do that? Will we appoint someone completely out of the blue that hasn't been mentioned? For me, I've said earlier that I would love Mike Duncan Ferguson, and I think that because. We need someone that's not going to pull any punches in the dressing room. I mean, throw them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But someone that's not going to take any rubbish that's going to get right through this team because you look at our squad and paper at the minute, still think with a few short. So get someone in, he'll have good contacts. I've already mentioned to his what way in the past. So we'll be able to bring good players in. Someone that knows the league as well. And someone that's good contacts. So I, that's what I, what I would do moving forward. Now, I'm going to go through the three most likely and there's one in here that I've not spoke about because he's just been linked with the job as we were coming round to film. So, Stevie Hamill, I think, because he knows the club. Uh, he's been here for ages. I think that's probably someone that I wouldn't mind if he got the job. It's just a question of whether it's too soon or not. The one that really excites me, Duncan Ferguson. I mean, there's a question of money, but again, I've mentioned where he's been, where he's went. I think that would be a great appointment. He's looking for his first job. So him, number two. And the number one is someone that I can't believe I never did much research on and somebody that I missed because he has been the name of the Motherwell job every time that has come up, really. And that's Simo Valakari, right? He, he came out the other day and said that there's nothing concrete in the speculation that he might be taking the Motherwell job, but the, the nothing concrete for me leaves a bit of openness that something might be going on in the background there. So he might be uh, coming here to Fur Park and he's someone that has been heavily linked in the media over the last year. So he's won trophies in Finland and in Norway. So he would have good knowledge of the, the Scandinavian leagues. And I don't think if you take the whole forum out, I don't think there's much between sides here in Scotland and teams in certainly Norway anyway, so he can maybe bring some players from over here. He used to play with the club, so I see more about a carry, a wild card that I've not spoken about makes it into my top three. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn notifications on as well. It really does help the channel and last year we managed to get over a thousand subscribers from basically a couple of hundred, so we did really well last year. Can we push on even further this year? We're trying to step up the content. Hopefully you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe.